Are you and C Murder still talking? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, I love that guy, and I, I'm, I'm fighting for him to to get released, man. It's a tough situation because, like I said, it's really, um, it's really bad in the sense where. You know he he's really innocent, and that see that's the part people don't realize. They're like, oh, it's your brother. You're gonna say that, but I wouldn't say that. I, I think if you do a crime, you gotta do the time. But the, the the part that hurts us the most is he's fighting against the whole system, and the system is like they they designed to try to they what they've been doing it for years, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years to minorities like that. You know what I'm saying? And so they getting away with it. But I believe that C case is gonna gonna change a lot of laws, gonna change a lot of, you know, corruption and stuff like that because they really did him dirty and I and I and I don't want people to look at it like, oh it's his brother, but I promise you if that was my brother and he did it, man, it'd be so much better on me. Cause I wouldn't worry about it. I'd be like, whatever. But the fact that, you know, he locked up for something he didn't do, and I could put, you know, I I really would say that, um, on anything that I, I do know one for for sure fact. So if anybody have an opinion about it, it's definitely false because if you really check the case out, it's clearly no way in the world he did it. So I feel good about that. I believe that he's definitely going to come home soon. Um, you know, everybody who's like, you know, got love for C, keep him in your prayers. And uh, we're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to fight and he's going to come home. Well, I remember seeing a video. Yeah. Like some surveillance video that looked like C murder shooting at someone or whatever. So explain how you have a video like that, but you're telling me he's definitely innocent. Well, that's, see, that's two different cases. Um, and I, what I don't want to do is, um, as a man, he took the charge for the other one. He took the time for it. He, he said he did it, whatever, cool. But I don't, want, I don't want people to look at that. That's not the same case. That's a totally different case. They use that to say, oh, he's capable of doing that, but that's, that'll be the same thing somebody saying, you're capable of doing X, Y, Z because you did it before. Like, no, we got a, a system designed to, you know, prosecute you based on a crime. Not based on your lyrics, not based on uh, what you did in the past. Because if that's the case, we can, we'll lock you up. We'll, we'll lock you up, we'll lock my man up, we'll, you know, I'll be locked up or whatever, or I'll be guilty of whatever. But we're talking about the facts. We're talking about clearly, you know, what did you really do? I like be like if you're a girl, be like, oh, you, you did, you know, you, you, you always messed around with, it. and then be like, but I didn't do it this time. Well, if you're gonna get mad at me for the past times, then leave, you should have left me then. But if you <laughs> don't leave me because you're thinking like, okay, well, what I did now, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, if you stay with me, then you're gonna make this about something that I totally didn't do. Then that's a problem. So, if we're gonna start running around doing that part, then yeah, he's he's then I, I'm going to say, yeah, well, you guys are right. But on the fact that this crime that they gave him life without the possibility of parole, that means you're not coming back. That's not fair to anybody because if you have a child, it's not fair for me to pull your child over and be like, well, I'm going to just, just give him life just based on the fact that some Vlad did. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. is, you know, I don't, That's all I'm saying. I mean, look, it, it's about C, but it's so much bigger. And I think so many young men are, you know, getting life taken away just because they can't, people could do it. I think that's wrong. Okay, so so those are two different cases. I, I didn't realize that. Yes, I thought sir. that was the same thing. Oh, yeah. So the the, the shooting case that, yeah. that he took responsibility for, what was the sentence that they gave him for that? Uh, 10 years. Okay, I see what you're saying. So he got 10 years for that, and you're you're fine with that. I'm cool with that. I'm perfectly fine with You're that. You're cool with that. Perfectly. You, you, you accept that. Accept that. But the, the other case, which, which is the, the murder case, I guess, was the life without uh, possibility of parole. Yeah. That's the one you're saying isn't true. It's not. And every, but they all know it's true, not true. I mean, they, they already know the person who did it. They got a sworn affidavit from the person who did it. Like, I've seen affidavits. I've, I've seen you a copy of it. Um, the system that we live in down there. Now, if this was in California somewhere else, this wouldn't even made it to trial. This wouldn't even made it to pretrial. That's, that's how corrupt our system must change. Because I remember growing up, it's a lot of young men that I'd be like, well, where are these guys at? And they, they, they locked up, but they got public defenders and, and they got a plea bargain out for 30 years instead of life without parole, you know. And if you know the system, if you got a public defender, you got no chance. Guilty or innocent, you got no chance. The good thing about C is um, I didn't think he had good representation before, but that's, it was his choice. But I believe 
he will get out based on future findings, you know what I'm saying, or what's happening now. So that I do believe every time, every point in life, um, what happens is it comes a time where people pay for what they do. So if the system been doing this for 30 plus years, you could check, 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 check the credibility. Um, eventually those judges and lawyers and DAs, because some of the DAs has been fired for all the things I'm telling you about. They'll they'll pay for it because the the trail is so long because they they were sloppy with it because they they got away with it for so long you know what I'm saying so I don't have to worry about anything because I I know how to get away with it my grandfather got away with it you know my great grandfather got away with it so but it's a new time and I believe that um, they're gonna have to you know they're gonna pay for that so we'll see just like the guy who who was giving the kids away to the little you know the penitentiary he um, he got 27 years so. He thought he was scot free, living in a million dollar mansion, and everything. But now you got twenty seven years, so it comes it comes to light. So that's pretty much it. I mean, do you think that your brother fighting, you know, going to trial for a murder case, and his rap name being C Murder, do you think that swayed the jury and kind of gave it a certain you know negative connotation that got him that time? Absolutely. I, I would tell you this. I was I was at the first trial. It was so lopsided in C favor. It was so crazy. I said, "Oh, I see you guys later." Like that's that's how confident I was. I actually left, went flew out of town, was was on a plane, eating my food, touched down. I was like, "No way in the world!" Like the it was, it was so bad. No way in the world that they had convict him. But of course, it was an all white jury. So let's just say I'm not I'm not I'm not saying it's a white or black thing, but I am saying all white jury guy named C Murder. Okay, let's put this out the put this in a um rap. Basically, you know, your name has something to do with it. Um your lyrics, because they, they look at your lyrics. They they you know, but this is entertainment for us though. Um, you know, I believe that man, if we if a lot of us in my early years, if I was convicted on based on lyrics and what I've said and stuff like that, man, I would be It'd be crazy, but yeah, I believe that the system that we live in, they were so scared to let a guy out named, by that name that, that the jury just, they did, they looked totally the other way because no way in the world if I pulled up the transcripts to that trial, you would be like, oh, no, see, coming home, he'd be home in a couple of days. And, and here we go now, year 10, five, eight, seven years later, this stuff's still going on, but the system won't allow him to come out. I, I, I've been there when his appeal was so good, I was like, oh, this my Tommy coming home. And then it's, even, the, even the person who was trying the case, they was like, they gave up. They're like, okay, yeah, we, we don't even want to fight no more. Yeah, he, he's not guilty. And then the judge said, we're not going to overturn it. So, so it's like, I don't, that's just my city. That's just my country. That's my, I'm sorry, not my country. That's just my state. It's, um, it's, that's the state we're in. If any other state, that wouldn't even, because he had no evidence, no witnesses. Every witness that they came out with them for actually um, came out and said uh, they threatened me, they expunged my record. Even with that being on the record, and you pull a case up yourself, even with the jury saying, I just say he was guilty so I can get out of the trial or whatever, that's all in records. But it's funny because he's still in jail, and so I'm, a, I'm upset about that. But, you know, that's, that's life, man. It's life. Well, last year, C Murder did a song, I think with Lil Boosie, where he blasted Master P. Yeah. Uh, on a Trust No One. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about that song? Um, I mean, it's, it's an opinion, but I didn't like it because we all family, we all brothers. Um, you know, we, we should be able to talk it out and keep, keep the media out of it. Um, I think P and C love each other like we all do. Um, you know, sometimes as brothers, you, you know, you might have a little fist fight or fight or whatever. But in the day, you're brothers and you, you come back from that. So CMP is okay. Like the media, I think this is what happens. Um, C will do anything for P, P will do anything for C. Let's just keep on it. He'll do anything for me, we'll do anything for each other. Um, I think what happens is when you put the outside people in the middle of it, this is one. This is what happens. They um, C is in a C is in incarcerated, right? So 
if he's if he's in a hole or they got locked down or something like that, he may only hear a part of it. And then it might take C a long time to reach out to P. And so P might hear it and hear a part of it. So you never really get the gist of it until they hop on the phone together and realize it was just a bunch of crap. So I think that's what what probably started it off. Um, more he say, she say. But they look, man, they brothers. We all brothers. Um, I believe P would do anything for C. I, b I believe vice versa. Um, and that's why I, I kind of, I'm neutral in it. I love them both. I'm not taking no sides. Um, right is right, wrong is wrong. I think we all wrong in the situation. I think we all can handle stuff differently sometimes, but we can't point the finger at each other. We all, because we all got to worry about ourselves too as well. I think he's feeling the same aggression that a lot of people are feeling, like the whole, where he said, you know, I've been out for months and years before him. Yeah, a lot of people have been out a lot longer than me and not blown up you know, nearly as quickly or whatever. So a lot of people have that, you know, that built up little, that feeling about it, and that's okay. So he said, uh, you got any scripts? I said, nigga, I'll be right back. <laughs> Ain't bullshit, got in the car, nigga, went over to Preston's house, got the script, foolish. So brought it back, handed it to the nigga. The nigga gave me a check for a million dollars. <laughs> 